Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use my free 3D sweatpants mockup inside Blender to create your own custom animations. So firstly, there's going to be a link in the description for this, but you want to head to my Gumroad page, which is brockcreative.gumroad.com. And this is where you're going to find all the mockups that I've listed for free. But today we want to check out the free 3D sweatpants mockup. And once you head to this page, you want to click on this box down here and just enter $0. You can leave a tip if you want to support the channel, but otherwise, in order to get it for free, you just want to enter $0. And now you can add it to your cart. So once you've extracted the zip folder from your download, you'll have everything that you need to get started. So to start with, we're going to open up our Blender file. And once we've opened up the Blender project, you'll see that we have our 3D mock-up here, but we can't see any design. So in order to see what's going on, you want to go to the top right of the viewport and click this button here. And now you'll see that we're shown our example design. So now let me show you how we can get our design into this project. So if we go back into our folder and click on this template design here, it's gonna open up a Photoshop project. And once we're in a Photoshop project, we can see the guidelines of where we wanna place our logos or text. Now, if you don't happen to have Photoshop, but use something like Canva or any other photo editing software, I also have this template design here. And in order to customize this, you just wanna import this one into your photo editing software. And if you're familiar with the concept already, I already have a design prepared for these videos. So I'm just going to click and drag them in. And then I want to align them to where I would like them to be placed. So this is roughly where I want my designs to be placed. So once we're happy with where our design is placed, we want to go over to the guidelines and make sure that we turn them off. And if you decide that you want different colored sweatpants, you can go to this box here and change the color of them. But I'm happy to leave these as black for now. Now you just want to save your design into the location that you wish. And once this is saved, we can go back to our Blender project. And now to get our design in here, we want to click on the sweatpants, go down to the materials tab here and we have two different selections here one is pants and one is straps this straps one essentially means that we can change the color of our straps to be anything that we like as you can see when i'm scrolling through this color wheel it's changing color in order to put our design on the pants you want to click on this folder icon and find where we saved our design and now just like that we have our design on the 3d mock-up so this 3D mock-up has a 360 animation that will automatically loop for you, so you don't need to touch any of the animation settings. And if you decide that you don't want to do any further customization of the strap color, we're now ready to render this out. So in order to render this out properly, we want to go to our output properties. And where we have this output tab here, we're going to click on the folder icon and choose where we want to save our animation. So we could just call this 3D render. Click accept. Now for the file format, if you want this to be a movie file, you can choose from one of these selections here, or if you know what an image sequence is and how to use them, you can just leave it as it is. And now it's as simple as heading up to the render tab here, clicking render animation, and now we're done. And if you like this video, make sure you let me know down in the comments, which 3D mockup do you want next?